So Marlena, you're very welcome to Ireland. Thank you. How does it feel? Have you been here before? I have. I certainly have. And I, I've always enjoyed myself. So, People are beautiful, you know. And you're playing here again in about a week's time. Are you going to stay around Ireland for the week? Well, no, we're going to London. And Are you serious? <laughs> Do you know any promoter <laughs> that'll like pay for to. a hotel for me to lay up in? I don't think so. <laughs> You tour quite a lot though, don't you? I do. Yeah. I really do. I've been trying to uh, slow down. I promised my husband that I would start to take... My whole idea was to work once uh, in every month. <laughs> How's that working for you, Dolores? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm very, I'm, I'm very blessed that people still want to hear me sing. I mean, mm. and, and it's not just that I do the, you know, the old songs from the 70s and the 80s, etc. I still do my uh, jazz gigs in, in clubs, you know. Because that's where you started, right? Yeah, well, uh, absolutely. I mean, it's sort of kind of hard to say where I really started, you know, but uh, I started in little clubs just singing standards, basically, you know. But uh, there's a lot of musicians still who say, uh, well, she's come this far on personality, okay? <laughs> the personality goes a long way. It's That's what I say, baby. <laughs> it's a tough industry. You've got to be able to take the highs with the lows and Thank you. keep on shining. And, you know, as you get older, you can't wear the short skirts. You can't wear low things. So, you know, you better have something else going on up in there. Well, the waistcoat <laughs> certainly compensates for it as well. As <laughs> yeah, well, we, I'll tell you about this, uh, the origin of this. <laughs> so you've seen a lot of different... Uh, genres of music you've passed through a load of them releasing different types of records and you've had so many people sample your work and stuff so how, how, how do you approach music like you know are you open to everything or not necessarily generally speaking um the story sells the song to me uh, you know uh, other than the things I've, I've written well even those basically there's a story involved and once i'm involved in the story uh, then I can operate with, within the music structure or I change it depending on, you know, the arranger or uh, the producer, whoever's working with me, you know. Over the years I find that they have sort of kind of let me have my head and then after I'm out of the studio then they do what they want to do on top of it, you know. So. And do you think the stories, like, you know, from your original songs that talked about working class situations, do you think that's still the same in oh, America? Sure. And you feel as strongly about it as you did? Absolutely, because <laughs> unfortunately in all these 40 years nothing has changed. No. I mean, as far as social consciousness is concerned, we still have to, uh, we have to speak out on them. Yeah. Hope in a Hopeless World, which was written by Phil Roy uh, some years ago, but I recently recorded it. Mm. So it's, uh, you know, it's, there's, if there's a thread to be had within my, my songs, it's that, I yeah. think. Yeah. That consciousness. Yeah. Which is kind even of, even love songs, basically, yeah. you know. Yeah. Which is kinda of happening a bit more now with people like Common and do you, are you a fan of theirs in America, like this kind of new kind of conscious um, hip hop that like they've kind of moved away from downing women and talking about money to kind of talking about social issues again. Uh-huh. Which uh -huh. is pretty cool. Like Unfortunately I, I haven't heard as much of the uh, power up. Hmm to be honest with yeah. you. Uh, and let me tell you that I live in Las Vegas. Mm. So we only have one station, unfortunately, yeah. that plays jazz. And I still listen to uh, Coltrane and, and Dizzy. And mm. I, I'm, you know, I'm kind of stuck there. When, when I'm driving, I love to listen to that kind of music yeah. as opposed to, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't need very much to send me up the wall anyway. So, you know, yeah. if you're going to let me drive, let me drive in calm music, okay? You, the car is a great place to listen to music. Because, you know, you've got almost surround sound and you know what I mean? It's you're lost yes. in your own little world and stuff, so. Yes. Yes. Do you have any other types of favorite music? You maybe on a Sunday morning? Do you play certain music on a Sunday morning? No, no, I'm busy getting ready for church. Okay. <laughs> no. Do you sing at church? Although yeah, it's funny because years ago, um, when I was growing up in New Rochelle, my grandmother had a, f a favorite station that she listened to, 
and uh, it was kind of Sunday morning thing, you know, while you're getting ready, you yeah. know, uh, 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 the blind boys of, of Alabama. Where are they from? Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. Yeah, they're Alabama. the dudes. They're great. That's it. So, yeah, that's funny. But now it's, uh, you know, well, first of all, we go to church much earlier than we used to. So, you know, it's a, it's a different kind of a. And is your thing. faith important to you? You're oh, <laughs> that's the number one thing that's right. important to me. You know, even uh, in finding a husband. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you said you were husband. I had to ask for, well, it's funny how um, one of my girlfriends and I, years ago, we were discussing men. And honey, please, you know, well, it will take a hoover to sweep me off my feet. Mm. You know, that mm. kind of mm. attitude, right? And this guy was running for uh, office in, in Las Vegas, and he was also working at the uh, Musicians Union in the bar so that's where we met wow. <laughs> but I was never I mean you know he was a nice looking guy but I wasn't thinking of him as a Husband boyfriend material. or anything yeah. but no and uh, because he wanted to use my property to put his sign up you know he was running for one of the commissions or something like that and he started coming around more frequently and I went to the bar more frequently <laughs> and make a long story longer <laughs> We had that kiss. Wow. What did she say it's all in the kiss. Wow. But he also had a Bible in his hand. And I said, well, you know, are you a student of the Bible? And he st we started talking and uh, it was over. That's all. All I can tell you is we've it, been when married it's right, 25 years. When it's right, it's right though, isn't it? When it's what? When it's right, it's right. Oh, isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And was it through him you, your faith was kind of made stronger? I think so. Yeah. yeah, because I wasn't much of a Bible reader. Yeah. Um, because I thought I had been to church and heard everything that was in the Bible. Yeah. So I went mostly on emotion. Mm. But uh, through him, I've, I've learned to study scripture. Because so. again, the stories from the Bible are like your songs, so they keep going. You know what I mean? When oh, you read it now, it's got relevance. Because I occasionally go to Mass with my granny, and it's the same thing. The stories, they really resonate, they mean something still. Right. Yeah. Exactly. The Catholic Church is slightly different in Ireland, but we won't talk about it. Well, you know, I'm singing, what, 44, 45 years. Yeah. So I have to believe that it's something stronger than me. Mm. Because I like my couch, I like my television. I mean, if that was all there was, you know, just to come out and make some money, I wouldn't be doing this. No. Mm -hmm. And I think you like you were saying earlier on about you wanted to get some food. Like I know you're touring so much. Do you have comforts like that you bring with you? Like or no, 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 because I'm trying not to. You know. Oh, you're <laughs> Come sure. on. It's that food that you eat when you're not hungry. Yeah, that's the thing. When you're really tired, you end up eating terrible food. So it's it's a tough one when you're yeah. touring. I, well, I can go without. Or um, I learned. I think as a child, because um, a lot of times everybody was working, so there was nobody to prepare, you know, food all day long for you. So I learned to eat some cereal or whatever, you mm. know. And it, it only becomes, food becomes important when you've got your entire family around you True. or you're with somebody, then you, you know. Yeah, and does your man get to come over and catch up with you on tour? Will he see you in London maybe? Or uh, no, my husband Vegas? does not travel that much anymore because... Uh, his mother is 90, okay. uh, and so he's a little, you know, he doesn't want to be out of town if of anything happens. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. But he's been to India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. Wow. He's, he toured with me a little while, a couple of times in, in Japan. What instrument does so. he play? Me. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a fiddle. <laughs> Mm. Was it, you said he was in the Music Institute. What was it, the Music Academy he was in as well when you met him? He said he was in the music something. Oh, he was, you mean the school he, he, he taught oh, at? Yeah. yeah, he was at the Academy. And um, what was he teaching? Yeah, um, well, basically, see, he used to also be a policeman. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> An interesting oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so they really had gotten him more for, uh, to kind of teach the, the gang members, you know, so they, it wasn't the little yellow bus, but it was, you know, trying to, uh, more or less trying to socialize the gang members, etc. Or he did substitute teaching for, wow. you know, for like whatever class needed it, yeah. you know. 
He sounds like a real community focused type person. Is he a real, really well known in the Vegas area for all this kind of uh, stuff? I think so because he was born there. Mm. And uh, his father was a cop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the Hefner is a very, well, the name itself was well known in, mm. in Las Vegas. But of course, now we're almost two million. So the new people don't know. You know. Right. Even some of the old, there was one place where people now go for fishing, etc. That used to belong to the Hefners, but uh, I guess his great grandfather or whoever needed the money, mm. you know. So the mob used to use their place, and eventually the mob either bought it off him. I don't really know the story, mm. but right. uh, yeah. Or if you do, you're not saying on camera. Oh, they <laughs> tell us <laughs> like that, huh? I don't, I don't, gee, I don't know. <laughs> and so if you live in Vegas, do you gamble? No. No. Mm -mm. I used to, I guess, when I was uh, very young, because uh, when I first started going to Vegas, I went with the Count Basie band. Wow. So, um, you know, when you're young and cute, you can always get somebody to give you some money. <laughs> I'd say it was pretty glamorous then, going with those guys Well, I, I think it was, but I was still living in New York mm. at the time. So whenever I would hit playing, I would run to the Western Union. Now you could send money quick, yeah. you know. Mm. So they started calling the Western Union the Eastern Union. Oh, Marlene is going to the Eastern Union with five kids. You know, you're not going. But that money is was very important then. Mm. I mean, yeah. it's still important, no, but of course. not to the degree that mm. it was when you have five kids to put clothes on. And everybody at that time, you know, they wanted uh, the boys wanted converses and the. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have the have any of the kids inherited your um, vocal talents by any chance? Um, nobody that wants to sing in front of other people, okay. you know, yeah. they, I, as a parent, you know, I think they all have talent, mm. right. but uh, no, my uh, one son that is uh, surviving, he, um, he went to school for music, mm. but he told me one day after he had graduated, he says, Mom, I hate to tell you this, but I hate kids. <laughs> So he works for the post office. Yeah. Brilliant. But well, it's important to do what you want to do. Like you, you've there done you go. that. There you, know? you go. Big yeah. time you've done that. Exactly. Definitely. Exactly. But uh, I think they're all successful people. That's the most important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And tell me, uh, during your distinguished career, uh, like, um, who is your kind of most favorite people to kind of like record with or hang out with in the studio? Or? Oh, Lord. Unfortunately, most of them have passed on. Okay. You know, yeah. Um, because I had spent lots of time with Ray Brown. Uh, it's a funny thing. It's never in my resume for some reason, but um, I loved working with Ray Brown because he taught me so much. You know, same way like with Count Basie. Basie was a teacher without speaking it, but he acted that way, or he showed you. You know, I think how to. Uh, even deal with musicians, you know, as as the leader of the band, being female, you have to have a way, uh, you know, to get across what you want without hands on hips or, you know, the um, kind of vamp thing. Mm -hmm. I could never do that. I can't. I can't pretend to be coy, you know. Mm, yeah. It's B flat. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Yeah, no. but it's a good way to learn. You don't forget after that, do you? No, no. Yeah. And also. Um, when I was a kid, you know, my uncle played trumpet. He was a jazz trumpet player. And he talked all the time about what I should do. And, and I wasn't even thinking about being in show business. But for some reason, he had that feeling that I would. Now, you know, when you get, when they get to not playing your record, you know, you just call me and you'd have to tell them. Um, I have so amazing. much learning up here, I don't even know what I know. Right. <laughs> but that's good, though. Just just flows then, I suppose. Yes, then. I think so. Tell me, what was it like um, hearing maybe one of your first records on radio? Was it a situation where you were in a car one day or at home or, and suddenly you hear your, yourself coming through the... Actually, How was that? I was in the hospital. Oh, really? And uh, I had an emergency uh, situation. It was an all-female kind of a thing, but anyway, um, I'm trying to think of what the first one was. It was Wade in the Water. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was telling the lady in the next bed because I had gone in under emergency circumstances, so I was in a ward. And I said, 
that's me. That's me on the radio. And they said, yes, Carl. Yes. Yeah, we're well, going to be all right. Over here. <laughs> wow. Yes. And more recently, the first time I heard the, um, oh, let me think of it. I think that was the guy from uh, Saint Germain. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I was at home watching a football game by myself, and uh, I heard it during the, you know, they were playing it the during a break. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I want you to get together. <laughs> All the blood just drained out of me, you know. You surely you must have known he had sampled it and stuff. Well, I did, okay. but I didn't expect it to be it in the United though. States yeah. of America yeah. okay. in yeah. my in right, my right. family it room. Really right, 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 right. Like but my yeah. son was uh, at the door, and I could see him. I'm sitting in the family room, and it's kind of a straight shot to my front window. And he's ringing the bell and, and pointing, and I'm pointing at the television, <laughs> you know, like, finally. I said, oh, that's right, he doesn't have a key. <laughs> so... You know, that was That's the pretty first magical. Time. Though, oh, like, uh, please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that was what, five years ago or so? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a bit more. Sorry? Maybe a bit more, I Maybe think, more, actually. So one came before the other. Yeah. Uh, Remember Me came first. Yeah. The Blue Boy one. Yeah. yeah. Right. But some, right. some artists are quite um, precious about their, their material and, uh, and uh, about, you know, it being sampled and stuff. And so, especially since hip hop and all, you know, since the 80s and 90s, people have sampled, you know, they've gone through the archives and they got those riffs and. and how, how do you feel about that, you know, in terms of your material being used or misused or... I think it's wonderful, especially uh, since I have all the publishing. Yeah, <laughs> it's fabulous. Now we're talking. <laughs> Did I say that? ka -ching. <laughs> Yeah, Horace Silver, many years ago, told me when I was signing with Blue Note, he said, baby, just make sure you get your publishing. Yeah. Know, he yeah. really clever lady because yeah. there's so many people that had amazing songs that have yeah. been used again and again and they've yeah. not but you were the first woman on blue note as well were you not yes. so yeah. you know to you you went in and you, you stood your ground then. at the right time yeah. at the right place yes blame it on the boogie baby <laughs> <laughs> fantastic yeah. yeah it's uh the thing is i'm also uh excited still over california soul and of course, that's uh, Ashford and Simpson. Mm. So I have nothing to do with the publishing. Mm. But it's still exciting to hear your voice on different things. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. The, so it um, works both ways, I suppose. The Italian job was somebody called me from Atlanta. Girl, <laughs> I'm in the movie house. <laughs> and you know Runaway Little Boy? Is that, oh, is yes. that tr about somebody in uh, oh, yeah. fact? And where is the little boy now? Because I always think about it like... Yeah, you know, I, I tell everybody, you know, I, I was recently in New York and uh, somebody was asking me from the audience, you know, people talk to me yeah. for some reason, no matter what the situation is. Like, hey, Marlena, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've been singing that song so long. How can you still sing it with such passion? Mm. Yeah. Say, because he's still living. Mm. Right. Gee, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? It's still the same kind of, yeah. And you ever Plus, see him I around? Love the song. Yeah, it's a fantastic song. It's yeah. great. Yeah. I, love and your song. Song. I love it. It's great. Carol song. King was kind enough to let me um, attach all of my talk stuff. Yeah, when you're talking about Essence magazine and all that yes. kind of stuff, I love yeah, that. So yeah, so I was able to attach it to her "Go Away, Little Girl." Yeah, you know. yeah, it's great. Really good. But then you say "Come back over" at the end, don't you? Well, you yeah, that's when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> now you just let him go. <laughs> Oh, I, that song really brought lots of communities together, in, in the black community especially. It was something that was talked about in barbershops and, and beauty parlors where people congregate, you know. I was coming back from Berlin uh, during the height of, of Go Away Little Boy, and uh, that's when it was more relaxed between the sky caps and customs, etc. And as I was coming through, one of the sky caps said, Charger, Charger, you know that's Marlena Shaw. And I didn't, well, I forget what my last name was at that time, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the one that go away, little boy. No, <laughs> the guys really were up in arms. Then it got to the point I do festivals, and as I walk on stage, they're hollering, go away, little boy. Yeah. You know? So wow. it's, it's funny how it's changed around in all these years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. So doing festivals like this one here in the the heart of Ireland, 
Um, is, what, what kind of venues do you like doing? Do you like doing smoky jazz places or do you like playing to a, a field or? Uh, I can do both. I suspect that a smaller audience generally gives you more freedom, you right. know, as, but like today's show, which was fantastic. I did lots of stuff that yeah. I never been you did before. The there. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, there was lots of. Uh, that's why I love this band so much because I can be extemporaneous and and just do stuff as long as the groove remains the same. Yeah. And they don't get nervous that maybe I'm lost or something. You know, I'm never lost. I know where I am. Yeah. You just if you play the groove, baby, I'll. You Did know. I hear you throw a bit of Marvin in towards the end? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. That was Absolutely. cool. That's the kind of thing you get to do at this festival rather than other places. Yeah. Just well, improvise. And let me and say another thing. It's so important that you have the same band. Mm. You know. Uh, lots of times promoters try to get you to work with such and such. Well, when you come here, I've got a great piano player. Uh, Doesn't matter. I don't want Those that. guys are tight, though. Like, yeah. They're, they're well, it's six years now, at right. least, that we've been working together. So, you know, they you know, it, they know what to expect. Yeah. And, mm. Be flat. <laughs> 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 yes. And having Nathan Haynes, I mean, he's just spectacular. Spectacular, I think. Pretty cool, you know, all right. Yeah. That uh, Squire Up Hire has done very well mm. for us. When I was in um, New Zealand with him with the symphony, I couldn't believe it. That song was like number one. Well, he's from New Zealand, you know. Right. There's only 18 people there, so. Lots <laughs> of sheep, so maybe they can buy records too. Oh, and are they delicious? <laughs> they are too. <laughs> Get me some meat. <laughs> So you have to talk, have you, have you tried any of the Irish meat specialities then? Like black pudding or sausages, like which are really big things here. You gotta no. try black pudding, I think you no, might like it. I'm not into it. I just, uh, you know, it's certain things in certain countries that people love, yeah. uh, they look a certain way. Mm. So if they don't pass the eye test, no. Yeah, I, really? right. I suppose no. steak, black pudding, I go for the steak. And I like my bacon fried well. And I don't want strips of fat, you know, yeah. unless you're cooking it with some greens. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm not that much. First of all, I'm not that much into uh, the food thing. I used mm. to really be, you know, you, I think for women, we go through certain periods when you're younger, you just want to know where the party is, mm -hmm. you know. Then you get older and, and you figure, you know, you deserve nice things. So you want somebody to take you to a lovely restaurant. Yeah. And, you know, you have this game. Now I'm kind of into saying, uh, hmm, call the chef. I, wanna, I want the recipe. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I do that. I love cooking and I love gardening and that kind of stuff. But when I'm on the road, it's a whole different Thing. And you grow your own vegetables you know. in Vegas? I did, yes. Really? Uh, right now we're, between my husband and I, between arthritis and this and that, you know. And, and the we, Vegas weather as well. Yeah. I'm sure it's well, difficult to grow there. Uh, it is, but we had pretty good garden going. I we can imagine like, you got good irrigation going on. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. You, you learn. Yeah. You know, you buy dirt every year. That's one thing. Yeah. You know. Wow. <laughs> so, it can get uh, a little expensive, but... Now we're into pot gardening, and don't misunderstand. <laughs> gardening <laughs> in a pot. <laughs> so Ooh. herbs, basically, of the edible variety. Uh, yes, and tomatoes. They do very well yeah, with that's uh, it. They heirloom do really well tomatoes. There. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't get the weather for them here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, What can we grow here? Cabbage? Lots of cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> and potatoes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, cabbage potatoes. is good. Fried. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but basically, I'm I'm looking forward to having a, a good tour, mm. and I'm glad that we started here. I was, at first, kind of skeptical. You know, first of all, just the name, Electric Piano. What is that electric telling me? Electric Picnic. Yeah. Electric Picnic. Well, I thought of it like everything would be electric, like you know, a yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but no, it's but, much uh, more open than that. I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a real highlight of the. Yeah, we've all, we wait all year for this weekend. It seems like oh, it's, I see. Yeah, uh -huh. it's a really yeah, big no, weekend for good. everyone. And have you been to? Have you gone for a walk around the area to Body and Soul? No, um, not yet. If you feel like going for a walk, go. It's real. It's like well, we'll bring you actually. Yeah, we can. We can go for a walk there. It's like a little magic fairyland. It's really, really yeah, nice, it is isn't really it? Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. For grown-ups, it's quite funny that we've kind of gone back to being children for yeah. this one weekend. Running around, 
So it's memories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. But it's it's it's, it's like. Um, Christmas for adults. This, you know what I mean. This is the, the our version of Christmas. You oh, know what okay. I mean? It's lots of fun and yeah. Because cool. yeah. Ireland's so small, we all know each other from Galway, Cork, and Dublin, and electric picnics when we all get together. Like so. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. You just run sure. into people all the time, so that's why it's so sweet. Yeah. No. Absolutely. And then highlights like seeing you play. Yeah. All right. All I got to speak to you. I'm as telling well. you, this was some crowd. I really, when I looked at the time. I'd never gone on stage this early. <laughs> what, what? What is this? Yeah. You know. But then to see the people coming to, yeah, to yeah. You know, that, and the sun came out as well. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Will we wrap it up there? I'm sure you want to go and have some lunch. Yes, I'm thinking of more like a big dinner. A big dinner. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because I'm. This time I packed correctly, believe it or not. I mean, usually I have so much stuff, it takes three people, but this time I'm, I'm kind of clear and concise. So once I have something to eat, and another nap won't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Naps are the best way to get through. Do we have our present here for you? We have a little gift oh, for you. Oh, yeah. OK, I'm going to go and get the gift. I don't see it here. Can you wait one second? Certainly, I can Anya, wait for gifts. <laughs> Are you knocking the, the bell there for them to come in? Five seconds left. We have a gift. <laughs> oh, how Elena. cute. Do you, have you give it to us. Oh, okay. Oh, that'll be fine. Yeah. I, oh, or yeah. Maybe we should stay Yeah, where those, are, 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 those are orthopedic. <laughs> <laughs> we give it to her together. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh. This is a present for you to remember Ireland and electric picnic. Yes. How beautiful! You know, my birthday is this month. Can I wait and open it on my birthday? You can, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Are you a Virgo then? Yes. Snap. Virgo, Me Libra. Too. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Very good. Now, open it on your birthday. That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. You can remember us then when you do on yeah. your birthday. Hell yeah, sign it. And we did. Oh, you've already done something! <laughs> <laughs> How precious. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm so sorry, I don't have a gift for you. No, uh, you we're, we're just we heard praying. you sing. That yeah. was it. That's, That's our gift to us. God bless you. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure I to meet you. It's been lovely to meet thank you. you. Okay.